all the fuel to this engine goes through this pipe. One gallon every second during takeoff per engine. So, you know, a gallon of water, gallon of fuel every second. So, so what is this here? When it's sitting on the ground idling, four gallons a minute. When you run from idle to full power, one gallon, 60 gallons a minute. Mm -hmm. So we go from four gallons a minute to 15 times more. What is this? Yeah, all this area, this section. Oh, that's, those are ground adjustments to tune the fuel control unit. It's called trimming the engine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this one? This here, that's a fire detector loop. This is just here to hold these. These sense fires. These. Uh -huh. That's just a framework for this. The sensor array. See it going down? This is the engine hot section. So if you have a fire, this is where you're going to pick up the heat. It tells a crew you get a fire alarm and you go through your procedure to put it out. <laughs> and what is this down there? That's the air starter. It's an air turbine. 28 pounds per square inch air comes in at very high flow rate through that tube. Somebody asked me what's that hole in the back of the plane? So it's coming from Compressed this. air is coming. Now once that first engine starts and stabilizes, you can shut the APU off and then take bleed air from that pipe that goes in the wing leading edge. You use the compression from this engine to start the other three. 500 horsepower, that little air motor. It's like an air drill, 500 horsepower. It's the most efficient way to do this. Otherwise, you'd have to hook up a V8 Hemi to get this engine started. And it fits right in there, and it's self-sufficient. Self so that feeds back through the accessory drive, basically, to start to turn the engine. It's, it spins that inside spool that we were talking about, because that's what's connected to the gearbox. And that gearbox gets it to, its torque from the N2 compressor and turbine. And yeah. this is your hydraulic pump. This is the inlet, the exhaust, or discharge but of the I mean, hydraulic pump. It, it does uh, spin the yeah. uh, spin the turbine through wheel ra rather than just forcing air through. Exactly. Yeah, it thin, exactly. Okay, it's yeah. producing torque. There's a spline <clears throat> shaft. It engages right. and it spins it up. Mm -hmm.